anxiety and depression are major disorders that the world is facing today right and they're real serious concern um my interests are in understanding the neuro circuits that produce emotion mm-hmm. and i'm interested in understanding how they respond to changes in environment mm-hmm. as a child growing up my earliest memories are that i was really lucky and very privileged to grow up mm-hmm. on such a campus in the city i mean in a city mm-hmm. like mumbai my childhood was spent in greenery with the dog and so he said to me something which i have often said then to my own students and i i will always say that this is a message i took away he said you're not even giving them the opportunity to reject you you have yes. decided yourself that you're not going to get in you will be rejected you are taking that nature is parsimonious in that it if something works nature uses it again and again and mm. again and so the rules sometimes for setting up things are similar the recipe hmm. books are similar uh, different uh, areas of brain which deals with happiness emotions fear different feelings different uh, so if you ask a neurobiologist what is the circuit in your brain that produces joy hmm. or which part of your brain is responsible for your experience of happiness hmm. those will be difficult questions for us to currently fully understand and answer the drugs we use to treat anxiety in human beings can also be given to rats or mice and when we give a drug that reduces anxiety in human beings when you give it to a mouse it comes out into the open without mm. worry right but so now that's interesting it exactly happens when we uh, encounter stress or anxiety or depression or these okay. three are different so or they're all different they're all very mm. different stress is a common part of our lives mm. okay there's not a single person that doesn't experience some kind of stress mm. stress response pathways have been beautifully conserved across evolution mm. and they are actually very important for our survival without a stress response pathway we will be in trouble yes. right body so, is responding like it is under stress so what are you doing You're moving glucose to your muscle you're shutting down your reproduction shutting down your digestion shutting changing your immune system response right your body is so then what is the uh, pathways that get activated to you know handle that kind of stress you should have a way to switch it off mm-hmm. there has to be a nice mechanism that allows you to turn mm-hmm. off the pathway so evolution has beautifully designed that mm-hmm. with chronic stress this feedback response can start becoming ineffective india is a country with aspirations to be a scientific powerhouse and to play mm. a role perhaps of scientific leadership from the global south mm. we have to imagine science for ourselves and from our own reference points yes. that are relevant to our own country mm. rejuvenating our universities mm. where the youngest minds come is yes. perhaps the call of the day that yes. grow manufacturing and we must grow manufacturing in the technology science platform mm. and space but at the same time we must not handicap our leading scientists from doing their work by tying them up in knots where they cannot get what they need easily so this is an ecosystem of people who have your back people who support you right and that can come in many different i mean it can come in many different ways it may sometimes be family members sometimes it may be friends sometimes it may be a colleague at work create your ecosystem that supports you so that whenever we are in stress there is something uh, some feeling happens in our gut so what's what's that in some sense i do feel the responsibility as a woman receiving these awards because i know mm-hmm. that there is a really poor gender balance in this space so mm-hmm. i do recognize the importance of that mm-hmm. and i feel that that is <laughs> really unfortunate that we have such warped yes. uh, representation but that's reflective of the patriarchy in our society